प्लीज लाइक and share my videos and subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed 12 questions were given from the section applications of derivatives from the chapter differential calculus in the jee main examination held in january 2024 session we have already discussed the first eight questions in two different videos now the aim of this video is to discuss the problems the last four problems and their solutions this question has appeared in the jee main exam held on 31st january 2024 in the first shift the given question is if f of x is given to be a 3 by 3 determinant whose entries are polynomials for all x belongs to r then 2 times f of 0 plus a prime zero is equal to we are given four options right so we have f of x is a 3 by 3 determinant whose entries are the polynomials given like this now we want f of 0 here so f of 0 that is substitute x is equal to 0 in this determinant then you will get 0 1 one, 1 one, 2 0 6 0 4 minus 2 right now expand by the second column expanding this determinant by the second column we'll get minus 2 times minus 2 minus 4 in brackets that is 12 that is 12 now how do we differentiate the a determinant this i have already explained in an earlier video that is its derivative is a prime x is equal to the it is the sum of three determinants the first determinant is same as the given determinant with the first row replaced by the derivatives of this first row so the derivatives of the first row are the derivatives are the entries of the first row of the first determinant for the second determinant it is same as this determinant with the second row replaced by the derivatives of the second row of the given determinant and that is the first row is as it is and the third row as it is the second row is replaced by the derivatives 3x square plus 2 derivative is 6x derivative of 2x is 2 derivative of x cube plus 6 is 3x square plus in a similar fashion the third row is replaced by the derivatives so x cube minus x that is 3x square minus 1 and the derivative of 4 is 0 the derivative of x square minus 2 is 2x yes good right so we want f prime 0 so substitute x is equal to 0 in this f prime 0 is equal to wherever there is a x you substitute zero then you will get uh, you will get 0 zero, 0 zero, 3 2 0 6 0 4 2 in this x is equal to zero this is the determinant and in this x is equal to zero this is the determinant right now now expand this first determinant by first row first row and that will be a prime zero is equal to 3 into 2 times 8 and the the value of the second determinant is zero because the second column is a zero column left right plus the third row is expand by the third third row third row minus 1 into 1 into 6 that is 6 so this is 3 8s are 24 minus 6 that is 18 what we want is 2 times f of 0 plus f prime 0 that is 2 times 12 plus 
18. That is 24 plus 18, that is 42. The answer to this question appears against option 3. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 3. That is the detailed discussion of this problem and uh, it is definitely an easy problem. Right. Let us now move to the next question. This question has appeared in the JE main exam held on 31st January 2024 in the second shift. The given question is if the function f from the semi closed interval minus infinity to minus 1 to the semi closed interval a comma b closed at b n defined by f of x is equal to e power x cube minus 3x plus 1 is 1 1 and on 2. It is a very important information. So, this is very important. Then the distance of the point P, the ordered pair 2B plus 4 comma A plus 2 from the line x plus e power minus 3 times y is equal to 4 is agreed. Agreed. We are given four options. So these are the four options. That is under the square root of 1 plus e power 6. Is it 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times? That is all. Now, we are given the function f from the semi closed interval minus infinity to minus 1 into the semi closed interval a to b closed at b n defined by f of x is equal to e to the power of x cube minus 3x plus 1. It is given that f is 1, 1 and on 2. I have already told you that it is a very important hypothesis. This this is this we require right right now now we want to talk about the where is this function is increasing or decreasing for that we take uh, the first derivative that is the, the derivative of e to the power of x cube minus 3x plus 1 is e to the power of x cube minus 3x plus 1 now differentiate uh, x cube minus 3x plus 1 with respect to x that is 3x square minus 3 that is equal to 3 times x plus 1 into x minus 1 and now we want now how this function is behaving in the semi closed interval minus infinity to minus 1. So ask the question when x less than or equal to minus 1 what happens. So when x less than or equal to minus 1 this is negative when x is less than or equal to minus 1 this is also negative. And the product is positive. So it is greater than or equal. Equal to 0 because x plus 1 will be 0 when x is equal to minus 1. So it is greater than or equal to 0. So this will give you f of x is an increasing function in the semi closed interval minus infinity to minus 1. Now it is an increasing function and it is 1, 1 and on 2. Both put together. Put together f is increasing function and f is 1 1 and on 2 then minus infinity is mapped to a and minus 1 is mapped to b why this happens because it is an increasing function the end points must correspond must correspond and it is bijective it is bijective because of these two reasons because of these two reasons the end points should correspond so, a is equal to limit of fx as x tends to minus infinity and b is equal to the value of f at minus 1. So, a is equal to limit x tends to minus infinity of e to the power of x cube minus 3x plus 1 is 0 because, a, because of x cube is a, it's a, it's a, it's an odd degree odd degree then it will become e power minus infinity and then by 1 by e power infinity will be 0 b is equal to f of minus 1 simply substitute substitute the value of minus 1 in f of x then simplify you will get e cube so we got a we got b the then we will obtain the point p 2b plus 4 comma a plus 2 now the distance of the point p the ordered pair 2b plus 4 comma a plus 2 a is uh, 0 b is e cube 
then p will be the ordered pair 2e cube plus 4 comma 2 its distance from the line x plus e power minus 3 y minus 4 is equal to 0. We have to write this as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and the point is x1 y1 and we know the, the, the perpendicular distance formula. So this is the perpendicular distance formula then it is given by mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c by under the square root of a square plus b square. In our case a is 1, b is e to the power of minus 3, c is minus 4. Substitute in this. So after substitution you get this one. And uh, the simplification of this I have shown you in the snippet. Right. So this is the what, uh, what we have and uh, minus 4 plus 4 cancels in the numerator and e to the power of minus 3, 2 times of e to the power of minus 3 is 1 by e to the power of e cube. You can write 2 also you can take common 2 times e, e cube plus e 2 plus 2 times e to the power of minus 3 by 1 plus e to the power of minus 6. Write for uh, e to the power of minus 3 1 by e power 3 and write e power, for e power minus 6 1 by e power 6 and uh, simplify. If you simplify, then uh, e cube and under the square root of e power 6 in the denominators they cancel and uh, you will get uh, 2 times of under the square root of e power 6 plus 1. So that is the perpendicular distance what we have computed. And let us look at, let us look at uh, the options given to us. So this answer appears against uh, option 1. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 1. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. It is, a, it is also an easy question, but not very easy question. Agreed. Let us now move to the next question. The, this question has appeared in the JE main exam held on 1st February 2024 in the first shift. The given question is, if 5 times f of x plus 4 times f of 1 by x is x square minus 2 for all x not equal to 0 because 1 by x is that. And y is equal to 9 times x square multiplied by f of x then y is strictly increasing in we are given 4 options and each option is the union of 2 open intervals. Right. Right. So, let us now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have 5 times f of x plus 4 times f of 1 by x is equal to x square minus 2 when x not equal to 0. Let us call this as equation 1. So you have to get y. We will get y provided you know f of x. But we have this given equation. And if I, if I substitute for x a 1 by x then you will get another relation another relation in f of x and f of 1 by x and two equations two unknowns have come therefore i can very easily obtain f of x so replace x by 1 by x f of 5 times f of 1 by x plus 4 times f of 1 by 1 by x is a f of x that is equal to 1 by x square minus 2 let's call this as the equation 2 so how do we get uh, to the routine method? The routine method. So we solve for f of x. Multiply, multiply first equation by five, and the second equation by four, and uh, subtract second equation from the first equation. So equation one multiplied by five minus equation two multiplied by four. Then f of one by x will cancel. Then you will get five times f of x. Ma minus 16 times f of x is equal to 5 times x square minus 2 that is 5x square minus 10 and uh, 4 minus 4 minus 4 times that is minus 4 by x square plus 8 simplify you will get 9 times f of x is equal to 5x square minus 4 by x square minus 2 take the LCM you will get 5x to the power of 4 minus 4 minus 2x square by x square. Now cross multiply. 
you will get 9 times x square multiplied by f of x is 5x to the power of 4 minus 4 minus 2x square. It is a polynomial. It is a polynomial of degree 4. So, but this is given to be y. So, given y is equal to 9x square f of x and that will be 5x to the power of 4 minus 4 minus 2x square. Thus, we have obtained y. y is 5x to the power of 4 minus 4 minus 2x square. We continue the discussion in the next slide. Right. We have that uh, y, 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 y as a function of x. That is uh, y is equal to 5x to the power of 4 minus 4 minus 2x square. What is to be, what is required? y is strictly increasing in 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 which is the union of intervals. So, for uh, increasing decreasing nature, we will compute the routinely the first derivative. f prime is equal to 20x cube minus 4x. So, 4x is taken out, common 5x square minus 1. So, now equate y prime is equal to 0 then you will get the critical points. The critical points are x into 5x plus 1 into 5x minus 1. So, the critical points are x is equal to minus 1 by root 5, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 by root 5 critical points. Remember, you know, it is always convenient. It will be, it will be useful for you if you write uh, the critical points in an increasing order. Then it will give you and uh, I will tell you how this is useful to you. We have that uh, y is strictly increasing if y prime greater than 0. That is, if x times 5x square minus 1 greater than 0. So, y is strictly increasing in those intervals in which y prime is greater than 0. So, let us go to the, so this is the factors here and let us go to the real numbered line and uh, put these critical points in the increasing order. This is x is equal to minus 1 by root 5. This is uh, x is equal to 0 and uh, this is x is equal to 1 by 1 by root 5. Suppose if you take any x any x to the right of 1 by root 5 that is when x greater than 1 by root 5 then each factor is positive that the product is a positive therefore y prime is positive. Now, if you write like this the advantage is that you know when you take a, a, a value x greater than 0 but less than 1 by root 5 then x greater than 0 for that the two factors first two factors are positive the last factor is negative and thereby you will get negative and you can argue similarly. So, so you get uh, the signs of y prime here. So, now y is strictly increasing in those intervals in which y prime greater than 0. y prime greater than 0 in this interval that is minus 1 by root 5 to 0 union and uh, y prime is 0 in this interval that is 1 by root 5 to infinity. So, y is strictly increasing in the union of these two intervals. This information you can get it from here. Right. Let us look at our options. So, our answer appears against option 4. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 4. It is also a straightforward question. Agreed. We move on to the next problem wherein we are we are unable to arrive at the answer i will tell you what it is let f be a strictly increasing function from defined from r to the open interval 0 to infinity such that limit extends to infinity of f of 7x by f of x is equal to 1 then the value of limit extends to infinity of f of 5x by f of x minus 1 in brackets is equal to. We are given four options. Agreed. Agreed. 
right. Now, we are given a function f from the set of real numbers into the open interval 0 to infinity. You note down this point. For each x belongs to R, f of x is positive because f of x lies in the codomain here. So, 0 to infinity, f of x is always positive for all x belongs to R. Note down, this is a very important. Now, given f is strictly increasing function, I have written as a bold faced because this is this is to be used this cannot be relaxed limit extends to infinity of f of 7x by f of x is equal to 1 this is also given to us i can deal with two cases when x is negative when x is positive when x is positive x less than 5x less than 7x f is strictly increasing therefore f of x less than f of 5x less than f of 7x, where x greater than 0. Now, divide throughout by f of x, because f of x is greater than 0, the inequality is will not be get disturbed. So, 1 less than f of 5x by f of x less than f of 7x by f of x, because f of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to R. Agreed. That also we agree. Now, take the limits. So, that will be limit of uh, limit as extends to infinity of 1 is 1 only limit extends to infinity of f of 5x by f of x is less than limit extends to infinity of f of 7x by f of x we cannot write down less than or equal to here because it's a strictly increasing function even after taking the limits also it will be like this but this value is 1 so 1 less than limit extends to infinity f of 5x by f of x is less than 1 yes Yes. And people go on arguing, go on arguing. We will use what is called uh, the squeeze theorem or a sandwich theorem. And they, they conclude limit extension to f of 5x by f of x is equal to 1. But you cannot use the sandwich theorem. Why? The sandwich theorem is used only when there is less than or equal to these two inequality, two less than inequalities must be less than or equal to. But if we cannot write less than or equal to because it is a strictly increasing function number one, number one. And after taking the limits also it will be like this only. Therefore, we cannot conclude that one. Anyway, let us now take uh, x less than zero. Then 7x less than 5x less than x and uh, f is a clean increasing function again f of 7x less than f of 5x is less than f of x and divide throughout by f of x because f of x is greater than 0 and st even then it will be like this take the limits and you will get uh, 1 less than limit extends to infinity f of 5x by f of x is less than 1 even here also you will get the same thing you will get so in any in any case we get 0 less than 1 less than limit extends to infinity f of 5x by f of x less than 1. Now, now add minus 1 throughout, then you will get 0 less than limit extends to infinity f of 5x by f of x minus 1 less than 0. This is same as uh, 0 less than limit extends to infinity of in brackets f of 5x by f of x minus 1 is less than 0. Mind you, we I cannot use the squeeze theorem or the sandwich theorem. Therefore, I cannot conclude limit extends to infinity of f of 5x by f of x minus 1 in brackets is equal to 0. But however, people after seeing this one, they use the sandwich theorem, they get the answer as 0 and the 0 appears in the option against option 1 and they say the answer is option 1. But the conclusion that it is going to be 0 cannot be arrived with this much of information because it is strictly increasing function right so therefore you may you may you may get the answer you may get uh, the, this is equal to zero you may put it and you will get it you will get the answer be happy i am happy you are happy everybody is happy so we stop there but conclusion that uh, this limit extends to infinity of f of 5x by f of x minus 1 is equal to zero 
we cannot conclude because we cannot use this question. So therefore, I will say, how do you say this? And because I am not able to, I will leave the question. That is, I will abandon. And I, I don't have an answer for that. So I don't have an option. But yes, I will leave the question. So that is the detailed discussion of this problem. This problem. And uh, I am sure that you have understood these four problems and their solutions. Please like and share my videos and subscribe my channel if you are not already subscribed. I wish you all the best. Thank you.